After that gymnastics bombshell rocking the sports world, the USA Olympic Committee is taking action in the wake of the Larry Nassar sex abuse scandal. They're moving to revoke the recognition of USA Gymnastics as the governing body for the sport in the United States. ABC's Maggie Bruley tells us how some are reacting to this decision. One of the Olympics' most watched sports is getting rocked by a massive shakeup. The U.S. Olympic Committee, using the so-called nuclear option, is moving to revoke USA Gymnastics' status as the sport's national governing body, saying it failed to properly handle one of the biggest sex abuse scandals in sports history. I hope that the abuse will end with us. I hope that people can learn from what happened to us. More than 100 women claim USAG turned a blind eye and even covered up widespread sexual abuse by former team doctor Larry Nasser, sentenced earlier this year to 175 years in prison. I've just signed your death warrant. Some victims applaud the move to decertify USA Gymnastics, tweeting, thank you. But others hold the USOC accountable for their neglect of the abuse as well and claim this action is just a ploy to shift blame. All we need needed was one adult to have the integrity to stand between us and Larry Nasser. The bombshell decision ripples down from the elite to the 150,000 athletes and 3,000 clubs around the country. It's unclear if USA Gymnastics will fight the decision. In a statement overnight saying, we will continue to prioritize our athletes' health and safety and focus on acting in the best interests of the greater gymnastics community. And with all of this happening, we're now less than two years away from the next Olympics. But the USOC says they're vowing to make sure no young gymnast in the U.S. is hurt by this decision and say they'll find a way to provide the support and training they need. Maggie Bruley, ABC News, New York.